what changes with the new Fusion Configurator engine. Um, I don't know if any of you have had a chance to read the documentation or if you're all still on 11.5.10 or 11.5.9, but there's some great, great enhancements that happened with the con release of the Configurator, Fusion Configurator engine. Um, there were many enhancements with multiple instantiation. Um, for one, you can actually copy an instance, and this is pretty much eliminates most of what was customized in 11.5.10. And another really unique thing, is, as I touched on before, was how we had to use an extension to control the instance quantity and keep track of it and make sure it was correct. Um, now you can easily do this with statement rules because they've developed um, new keywords that can be used within the statement rules to keep track of this. Also, the way math is taken care of is more like what you'd expect in actual math. It's whatever happens on one side of the equal statement happens on the other side of the equal statement and you don't end up with let's just say unexpected oracle results that you can have in 11.5.10 with numeric quantities. Let's take a look real quick. I created a small game or a small model in a, in a test instance just to show some of the new functionality of the Fusion Configurator engine. Um, what you have is what they call as a, a pool of instances. So in, in essence, you create this, you create an instantial model, and you can save it and rename it and, and do what you'd like to it. And every time you save the game or create a new instance or copy an instance, it gets dropped into what they call a pool. You can take a look at this pool because you can go back in and, and see which ones you want to select. Um, so, for instance, you could have a maximum of five instances of a game or a model or anything, and you can configure 10, 15, 20 copies of them. It's only going to let you save five of them because that's how it's, it's taken care of. <coughs> Another thing to point out is um, a lot of these copy functions if you're using standard user interfaces don't just happen you have to um, actually go out and modify the user interface and select the right templates in order to get this to work correctly something I couldn't find in their documentation once you've made your selections from the pool of instances that have been saved whether they be new configurations copy of current configurations you can return from the pool of instances and, and you can see what your, your selections as they're saved in an instance management table again you could go and reconfigure each one of these you can rename them um, it's some of the interesting stuff that has been added as far as the enhancements to multiple instantiation With the Fusion Configurator engine, do you still need to customize? Yes, you need, using the same uh, solution that we had, we, we need an extension to rename each instance so that the theme <coughs> that was selected would end up being placed with the order. Um, I believe the UI would have to be customized, and, and I'd probably have to look at the model structure and it, it would have to be changed to better use this standard functionality rather than using the customization. Of course the customization could still work. You could use the old configurator engine and do everything the same way. But uh, I really think that some of the enhancements they've made with the Fusion configurator engine really benefit this type of a business model and you'd be kind of foolish not to use some of the new stuff that was available. Further, with this client uh, specifically, uh, the benefits with the Fusion Configurator Engine enhancements that they could use and leverage are amazing compared to what they're currently doing. And if they were to reanalyze their business process slightly, they could really leverage how this was, how these new enhancements could be better able to serve them.